I thought I was done with Trivium, at least for another few months anyways after I did their discography, but I am once again today greeted by an all new single entitled Brave This Storm off of their upcoming album Vengeance Falls, which is tentatively as of now being released this October. So a little bit of background information on this album, David Dryman of Disturbed fame is coming in to produce it, and you can definitely hear his influence on the band, especially in this song. So. Like I said, coming out this year and delving into the nitty gritty of the song, it opens up with a ferocious guitar melody. It's very, very intense and has a little bit of a drum machine going on. And that also sounds very aggressive and intense. And let me tell you, this song is structured very well, very nicely and very appealing to the ear overall. Some of my gripes, though, stem from David Dryman's influence on the band, though. I mean, it sounds kind of like he's just taking it and twisting Trivium to make them into what I like to call Disturbium, because when you really listen to this song for the first time, it sounds like In Waves meets Asylum. Not a really good combination, at least in my opinion. Almost, it almost sounds like Heafy is kind of rap-rocking, whatever you want to call it. Not really rap, but not really rap-rock in this every sense of the word but anyways it just sounds like he's trying to imitate disturbed so and while hefe's and dryman's voices are a little bit similar that kind of sounds like dryman is singing on the album at least from the live recording that i first heard so that wouldn't make much sense because you know he's being featured here he's um producing that he's just all over the place lately he's not really sticking into one one thing anyways, because he actually went to Device, I wasn't really too big of a fan on that, and I am actually a huge Disturbed fan, or at least I was back in the day, especially during high school when they came out with such hits like Indestructible, Asylum, and even 10,000 Fists, but you know, that was before I even knew about them, so, you know, like I said, Disturbed and Trivium are good separate but when mixed together, it just kind of makes the uh, formula a little bit on the mediocre side, just a tad. So my final verdict for this song would probably be it's good, especially if you're a Trivium fan. It just it sounds like Trivium, but it also has that disturbed kind of polish to it. And it also sounds like I said, you know, In Waves meets Asylum. Asylum is actually a pretty decent album if you give it a chance anyways, instead of, you know, judging it for past Disturbed albums, but, you know, Asylum meets Disturbed, or meets In Waves, so, like I said, they're good separate, but when you mix them together, it's just not really that great, so, average track, I do like it, and the more you listen to it, the more you actually get a taste for what the band is about to become, the more you actually get in tune with the song, and the more you actually start to like it, so, at least that's the case for me, because I actually do kind of like this song, a lot more than I did when I started listening to it. When I listened to it for the first time, I was just like, what, what? Is this Disturbed? What? What is this, you know? <laughs> Basically, so, you know, like I said, decent song, probably a tad above average, not really my favorite, and definitely not my least favorite, though, in terms of Trivium songs. Not really sure what my least favorite is even, but this definitely is not it. It sounds like, you know, Disturbed, it sounds like Trivium, so Disturbium, so whatever, you know, I guess, and I am really looking forward to what the next album brings, so I hope there's more singles, and, you know, to be honest, actually, I don't even know if this was a single, but Trivium is actually being nice enough to release this as a free download for all of us. I mean, God, that's awesome. So, I actually got it from the link from Shadowblade9209's Facebook page, so go like him if you haven't already, he's also on here, and he's going to be returning hopefully sometime soon, so, yeah, with that, I'm probably gonna rate this album, or this song, anyways, a 8 out of 10, probably, because, you know, it is a tad above average, and it's very aggressive and intense, I do like the structure of it, but it sounds too much like Disturbed, period, that's about all I have for you guys, and aside from that, like I said, you know, more reviews are to come, I'm going to be reviewing Newstead probably either tomorrow or the next day or so, and just be on the lookout for that stuff. This is Midnight Strike 3625, and as always, keep calm and rock on.